day, which in the sleepers in particular gives you fantastic access back into the sleeper and the day camp gives you have plenty of room to stick in here as well. The new Kenworth T610 and T610 SAR herald a brand new driver's environment. And like Anthony said earlier, the first thing you notice is the 300mm wider cabin. The new cabin marks the move from traditional wiring to multiplex wiring, a transition from the analogue to digital age, where less complicated wiring looms make plumbing easier and less complex. Individual controls and sensors are now all digital, and electronic control units handle a myriad of tasks many times a second. replacement for the T409 and T409 SAR. However, we can also expect to see the demise of the T609 given the high horsepower options available from the T610 platform. They're powered by the latest Cummins X15 with power outputs from 450 horsepower through to 600 horsepower thanks to an improved cooling package. The Cummins X15 uses the same hardware and emissions reduction technology as the existing ISXE5 but features new, advanced, dynamic, efficient powertrain technology, ADAP. A suite of advanced electronic features capable of delivering fuel economy gains through improved powertrain integration. It is specifically designed to be coupled to Eaton's 18-speed automated ultra-shift plus transmission. The system utilises load, speed and grade sensing technology to initiate adjustments to engine power, torque and transmission gear selection to take advantage of vehicle momentum for better fuel economy. One of the most noticeable features on the new T610 trucks is the exceptional visibility and with the mirrors now sitting lower than traditional ones it gives the driver a much clearer and more panoramic view. Another noticeable improvement is the steering response. The wider cabin means the steering column now runs straight down to the steering box without having to divert around the turbo. The road feel is excellent. King Bar's custom Texan bumper for the new T610 has also been getting put through gruelling real life testing and to date travelled over 70,000 kilometres in 12 weeks with Blenner's transport. The driver told us that the last kangaroo was tall enough to see over the bonnet and the King Bar's T610 bumper is still as straight as a die and unmarked. We're told that the inherent strength stems from the design of their robust backing channel which consists of two 75 by 75 by 3mm RHS steel that supports the 500mm deep by 10mm thick 5083 grade polished aluminium bumper. All up weight including the mounting hardware is a mere 132 kilograms. It's little wonder that King Bars have earned the title Maximum Strength Ultimate Protection. These King Bars Texan bumpers are available as a dealer option. In the 40 years or more since Packard first started building Kenworths at its renowned Bayswater facility in Victoria, there has been nothing quite like the new T610. Sure, the first T600s in the mid 80s revolutionised the world of conventional truck design. But in the 30 years since then, the actual structure of Kenworth conventionals with their 1.83 metre cabin has changed very little, until now. Sure, the first T600s in the mid 80s revolutionised the world of conventional truck design. But in the 30 years since then, the actual structure of Kenworth conventionals with their 1.83 metre cab has changed very little, until now. In fact, senior Kenworth insiders say there's nothing in Packard's Australian history to even remotely match the investment made in the P610 with its 2.1 metre wide cabin. Word has it that by the time production trucks start rolling out of Bayswater later this month, around $20 million will have been spent on an entirely new conventional truck engineered and built to the specific requirements of Australia and New Zealand. 
Some perspective on the extent of the investment in the T610 is perhaps best understood by the fact that the entire range of current 09 models, which includes the T409, T609, T659, T909 and C509, plus the radically revamped K200 cab over, all came to life for less than half of what will be spent on bringing the T610 into existence. In the next few weeks we're taking a new T610 for a more comprehensive test drive and we'll have a more in-depth report on the nuts and bolts that go into this revolutionary vehicle.